see some rain later in the evening and it is a little on the chilly side as off speed but Anu goes the other way with it nice piece of hitting by the Wildcat DH he'll stop it first Raj Anu but he takes it right up the middle Ritter just with a really disciplined approach at the plate you know and I I was so proud of that kid went up for That'll do it. No need. Hill delivers the base hit to right. That's going to score two. And the Wildcats take the early lead on a line drive by Cam Hill. Boy, back to. Now uh, Cam Hill has run himself into some trouble. Yep. We've seen him work, work his way out of this situation before. And that's he, interference, so he's going to be. That's exactly right. No, that's interference. He's not out. Well, I, I think. The third base umpire may, may have called him out for being out of the baseline, Tony Walsh. Here comes Nick Mangione, and apparently Hill is having some fun again with the Gators. Just missed Ooh. the outside edge, and Arnie issues his first walk of the night. Good point. So oh. after all that, he drives it deep. Is this number 17? Yes, it is. A two-run shot by Judd Fabian ties the game as he sends one through the rain and over the center field wall. Boy, some thunder on that bat in there. Yep. And the pitch count. Uh -oh. Goodbye. That's a curveball that hung, and Fabian knows what to do with those. That's home run number 18, his second of the night, and the Gators lead it 3-2. Curveball, he wanted to get away, and he just, as you said, he hung it right over the middle of the plate. And the ball, he, he probably didn't get that one as good as he can, but. Cam Hill leading it off. Woo! And he does so effectively. With his second base hit of the night. Schultz goes the other way. They're going to send Hill. They let it come. It's a tie game. And he walks Colette with one out. Rose goes the other way. They're going to send Schultz. Scores easily, and the Wildcats retake the lead. The Gators put up one in the fifth. Kentucky answers immediately. That could be two. Rivera turns it, and that'll do it. A sharply hit ball by Kessler, but the Gators make short home runs on the year. And that's a fair ball. Schultz into the corner to run it down. And McMullen stops with a leadoff double, tying run at second base for the Gators. Past Zeke Lewis. John Rhodes misplays it. And it's a tie game. Another one for Cam Hill, but nope, Ritter's going to take it. I thought off the bat it was going to reach center field. Kessler goes the other way. So the Gators. With a leadoff base hit in the top of the eighth, the Wildcats come back with a leadoff single. That's what they were looking for. And they That's get right. one. Yep. They trade a run for an out. Got him to chase it. So a big strikeout. They walk the leadoff man. Well, you knew he was coming with a fastball, <laughs> yeah. but that was up and out over the plate. And now the tying run at second, the go-ahead run on first. Nice piece of hitting by Chris Armstrong. 2-2. Two -two. Wow. Slider just missed. Yep. Tie game. Acton gets it done as a pinch hitter. And the crowd letting the umpires know. 
Uh-oh. That's deep. That's real deep. And it's gone. A three-run shot, his second of the year. And the Gators have hung up four in the ninth. They lead it eight to five. Kentucky was one strike away. Second base hit of the night for the Wildcats senior. Gators come all the way back with four in the top of the ninth. Glad to have you along at Kentucky Proud Park as Jacob Young leads things off. For as it happened, harder when the Wildcats were out on the field. Cam Hill can't get it. That's going to be extras for Nathan Hickey. Will they wave him? No. Hickey stops the third with a triple. As Cam Hill with two. That's playable. John Rhodes, runner tags. Rhodes with a good arm, but just a little late, and it's a 1 0 Florida lead. Got the edge. How about a third base hit? That's three straight plate appearances with a base hit for that young man from Kissimmee, Florida. There's Lewis again. What a bad hop. Artificial turf. Did I hit the base? Might have. And that's going to score a run. A break for the Gators. They lead it 2 nothing. Right at John Rhodes. Not the pitch I would think that Zach Lee wanted to deliver, but it stayed in the park. But when the roof caved in, and Hickey, or rather Fabian, goes the other way. Good piece of hitting. His 48th base hit of the year. and the Ready to go in the bullpen. goes. But that's ball four. Armstrong. East step. Make sure a one. Nice. Got him. Nice play by TJ. TJ Collette stretches out. Or not. Galileo delivers the base hit. Cam Hill comes up throwing. Got him. Safe. No. Slid under the tag. Zeke Lewis takes care of things. And that'll do it as the Gators lead two, but they score again. Mm -hmm. Another full pitch walk, and again, the leadoff man reaches. First pitch swinging. Josh Rivera delivers the base hit. as well. Schultz can't make the play. They'll hold the runner at third. And a good piece of hitting by Acton, but very nearly a terrific defense. Young two for seven with the bases loaded. Cam Hill gets a good jump, runner's tag. Throw off line, four to nothing. A sack fly by Jacob Young. Wow. Off speed. Plastiac can't get it. That'll be extras for Jacob Young, his 14th double. Deegan kept running it inside on him, and boy, Young did a great a two way player. Cam Hill broke back. He'll have a chance at the running throw. But a sack fly for Chris Armstrong and a 5 0 lead for the. Oh, yeah. Ritter with a pickup and a quick throw. And the tag by TJ Collette. But the Gators hang up another and will go to the bottom of the eighth week. And then they host the Georgia Bulldogs as Kessler sends it to the corner. And out of here. Colton Kessler with a big blue bomb, his sixth of the year. Wildcats are finally on the board as the Kentucky senior goes the other way. And make up as Araja New swings from the left side. Oh. Has he made it back to back? Yes, he has. 
five to two. The Wildcats come alive in the bottom of the eighth inning with back-to-back -back home runs. Zeke Lewis comes through with a base hit. And now the tying run was last time up, but he got under oh. it. Got just a little bit under it. Fabian pulls it in himself. Off the end of the bat. And on the 3-2 pitch, Rivera, good piece of hitting. Sure was. They just stuck it. Every one of the Gators has been on base. And Acton draws the walk. He's on for the third time. Not even close. And he goes off up a lot of walks. There's a and four hit game. Yep. Gators get back the two runs they gave up. And once again, they lead it by five, seven to two. That's going to get down and into the corner. And that'll clean the bases off. It's a two-run double for Nathan Hickey. It's 14th of the season. And now he's driven in 47 runs. What a year he's got going. Straight up, playable for Zeke Lewis. Claims it and squeezes for out number three, but a huge inning for the Gators. Great at bat by T.J. Collin. Rewarded with his first base hit of the afternoon. Second of the series. For this weekend, that's great. Oh, he just missed. Just got under it. Young circling. And that'll do it. The Gators win it by a final of nine to two. They win the series here in Lexington.